Hi and welcome back to my channel. So this one is going to be puppy love that I'm going to be coming in with as I said working through these craft pads and I'd just like to say um, thank you for all your support and all your comments and I do really appreciate all the support and all of your comments I'd just like to say that before I get into this card so I was having a little bit of a play around with these oval type oval shape cars and I was trying to do like an easel but making it different heights but I've not figured out the measurements so I'm going back to a plain old easel card and the card stock that I've got for this one is these two pieces here and then this is the two inserts for these so the one I'm going to be going, coming in with is probably this brown card underneath so as you can see I'm doing an easel card so I'm going to cut my gold mirror which I've got to try and remember this card measurement which I think is 4 by 4 inches by 8 and a quarter it's going to be sitting that way so I need a bit of card that is this one so I need to do this at eight, 2 notches under 8 and a quarter is there hopefully and then two notches under four which will be for this bit under there which is right and then this bit is the top bit is two so I need to be two notches under two which I don't know if that's going to be big enough Could be just big enough, but it's a little bit off. I don't know whether I can trim any more. Just turn that up that way. No, I'm going to have to trim it off another bit. I don't trust that bit. So two notches under two. Got fluff on here. <clears throat> two notches under the two. I don't even. And two notches. See, even that bit's not long enough now. Two notches under the eight. No. You are definitely not long enough. I bet you. Yep, yeah, you're long enough. Let's try you. Two notches under the eight first off, by two notches under the two. Oops. Move slightly. And there we have, hopefully, that bit should. Oh, what is going on? Oh, I know what I've done. It's because it's not two notches under the eight, is it? It's not eight, it's eight and three quarters. So I knew I'd go wrong already on that one. Not the bungle. So we'll just get another bit of gold mirror. And I'll try again. So it's two and a quarter, so it needs to be two notches under two and a quarter. Yeah. No, nope, not that way. That way. Let me do the two notches under two first. So I'm not wasting the whole sheet. And then two notches under two and a quarter. I mean eight and a quarter, sorry. Two notches under eight and a quarter. Yeah. That's better. Let me get my measurements wrong as per usual. So it's eight and a quarter, remember that. So now I need a bit that is four notches under two. Which one? 
that bit and then it needs to be four notches under that eight and a quarter so that would be eight and that bit goes on to there and then again I need this one to be two notches under four four notches under four sorry by eight and that should be Get rid of that little tiny bit because I don't need it. So here we are. So I'm going with the all purpose. Oops. And then the tacky glue. I have just filled these up. So you are going to go on there like so, okay, and then this one is going to go on the front, there is a lot of noise going on, it sounds like someone's having scaffolding put up or something. That bit's going to go onto there. And then this is going to go on the inside. Like so. Gonna go on that side. Like that. And then I'm gonna bring this in top a bit. Where is my scissors gone for cutting this? There we are. Oops. So I want the border strip if I can get this off of there. Just gonna trim them off. The one I want is the one with the hearts on, I think. That one will be on the other card, I don't want to do that one. So that might be my strip that I'm going to use as the stopper. So now I'll decide which order I want these put in. I'm just going to decide whether I want to put all of them free in or whether I want to come in with a round one with a frame on the middle and use that other one with the other dog like that yeah I think I'm going to come in with that like that so frame pad this one up no not them scissors these scissors oh I haven't got to go all the way up have I I need to do smaller bits so I can do that one there that one there I don't know if I'm going to use a little mini circle in the middle which I'll probably not so I can get rid of that and put that to the side with a little bit of foam pad 
put that there. Just want a couple of little bits just to like I'll support that one there. That one there. That one there. And that one on there. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring my card in. So I can put this one on to the left side. I'm going to put a bit of tacky glue on these just to give me a bit of wriggle in case I need to move it about a bit. Just going to flatten that down. Put that one there for the minute. No, not that one. Just so I can see where this is going to be going. these ones off a bit of tacky glue in this frame so it might have to tuck underneath it's gonna go there this one might be going flat so I'm just gonna put a bit of tacky glue across the bottom of that oh. and then I go and drop it glue side down on my mat to clean that up just gonna lift this one up so I can tuck that under just gonna clean this messy pup up bit of baby wipe dry these they're not very good a bit dry oh yeah that one's wetter mm, definitely wetter So I can just wipe that. Otherwise my cards will be getting wet next. Stick you there for now. Okay. Right, next step. So here we are. This I did have some strips in the game. So I'm just gonna put some foam pad strips onto the back of this. there for a minute. It's not quite long enough so it's going to sit kind of like off a bit but that's all right. It's really fiddly to 
get them off the backing sheet. And you want more than one strip. And there we have it. Go all the way along to the edge. Trim the bit off at the end that I don't need. Peel these away. I'm going to put a bit of tacky glue on the middle of these. Lift this card up. And then we have that, and then find a couple of Find a sentiment that I want to use. Your perfect birthday wishes, just for you. Or no, lots of love. It's just going to go on the other one. I've got a poor print here, so I'm going to pull that one off. And I've got a little flower down here. Pull that off. And pull off this birthday wishes one. And what else can I use? I think that's it. So I'm going to use this one. And use a strip. Needle. Use a strip on this one as well, as I've got it in my hand. And the little paw print. Bring in my little card again. Put the paw print there. And the little rose is going to go that that side. Just going to go there. And then this birthday wishes. It's just going to go in the centre there. Like so. And then I'm going to find some gems. I should probably use these. Brownie, yellowy type. For this one, so I think I'm coming with them ones. Put two there. Oops. And one there, two there, I mean, not one. And that is that card done, just for the insert to go on the back, which I've got the insert there, which will be cut out later, and then put in later. And so I take all the pictures of all the, card, the, the cards that I do and put them on Facebook and Pinterest, if I get as far as putting them on there. So, just going to have a bit of a tidy up and then I'll be back with my second card. Ok, 
Okay, I'm back with my second card. So this one I'm doing a little bit different. So this is a 6x6 six six card. It's been cut down the centre of that one. It's an easel card. So it's gonna, that bit's going to sit like that. And I'm hoping that this one's going to sit a bit more forward and sit like that. But I'm not 100% sure yet whether that's going to work, but we're going to give it a whirl. So I'm going to come in with a bit of gold mirror. So for the inside I need it to be two notches under the six. And two notches under the six for the inside. And I need a bit that is So I need it to be two notches under the three by two notches under the three. So that would be and there for this side. And then the other side I need it to be the same one way, two notches under the three. And it needs to be two notches under the two. I think to go on there, which it does. And then I'm going to come in with my card stock. So I mean to get what I want going to come in that way, cut that off there, turn it that way, so I want four notches under the six and that is going to be the bit that goes on the inside and then this one I need four notches under the three Four notches under the three, which would be that bit that goes onto there, and then I need this bit again. It's going to be four notches under the three by four notches under the two. Do I want it to be that one or do I want it to be the other bit, just the bones? I think I'm going to change my mind and go for this one, if it's big enough. Yep. Four notches under the two. And that should be all of the cutting done. Move that out of the way so I don't need that, that neck to go in the bin. So let's do the layering. So, first bit. Coming up. On purpose and tacky. Place it onto there. Leave that to dry for the minute. Come back in and do these two pieces. All purpose glue in the middle. Tacky on the corners. Place onto there. Same with this last bit for the smaller side. And again with the tacky. Place that onto there. So now I'm going to put 
filled the card up. So all purpose. Just on the centre mainly. Tacky glue in the four corners again. And then place down. Press down. And then for the other bit, same again. All purpose in the middle. Tacky on the corners. Bring my card in. Place that onto the card. And then the same on the other side with the last bit. And tacky a glue again. Da -da -da. Bring in my fold and place that onto there. So far, so good. And then I have this um, woof woof border. So I need to have that. Okay, that's better. So yeah, I need that to be free and, and free. So I'm just going to trim this down with my trimmer just to make it a bit easier than trying to do it with my um, scissors. Take it from this side, I think. Because one side of this is a bit better of cutting than the other side. And then the same again. So I can use that as the stoppers. So I've got some foam strips. Across. Do the other side as well. Right across. Snip it off. And then for the test. If I haven't got butt fingers. Move that one out of the way for the moment. So, actually, whoops, this is the one I wanted for the other side. This side. So, I think I can place that rough beat about there. And then this one. There, so that would be how the card sits. It's a bit like tight there. I was going to try and move that, but it's not going to. No, it's stuck down. What I might do is just trim this. Just slightly. There we go, and that works. 
So now bring this one in and this other one. So he's going to sit there I think and this one's going to sit here. Oh I could have that one sitting there. Yeah that's the way I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to come in with some foam pads or foam reel. Put a couple of pieces on this one. And then this one, I think I'm going to leave all the frames intact on this one. Maybe I'm not going to, I don't know, I'm going to try something. Because I need it to fit in a 6x6 six six envelope. So I don't want the middle frame again. And then I think this one I'm going to sit flat. Slightly. So when the card's sitting up, it's going to be like that. Though it's not working. I think I might have to give it a bit more of a burnish down once it's settled. And then for the foam pad, little reel. down it's better it sits better now and then for the sentiments I'm going to use this one treat yourself print on but I'm going to need oh, I'll just cut a bit off of here it'll work stick that on there Gonna sit on that one. Got this little doggy one, so I'm gonna use him as well. Let's move you out of the way. Move you back. You're going to sit there, bring you back in, and then I've got a little sentiment that's going to say, You're perfect. Perfect. And that's going to sit under there. 
like so. And I've got two sentiments, tight or three sentiments left. That one, that one, and that one. And then I've got two circle frames and a bit of card left over. Well, there's quite a bit of card left over. A bit there, a bit there, a bit there, and a bit there. And then here's my second card. I'm just going to put a ribbon on that one first. Ooh, itch. So let me have a look, see what kind of ribbon I want. I think this one looks... Yeah, I'm going to go with that one, I think. A little goldy coloured one. I'm just going to come in with a glue dot. Stick that one on there. I'm not putting any gems on this one because it's quite um, full of toppers and little sentiments. So I think it's got enough on there. So that is that card and that is that card. So that's two cards made from that um, puppy love pad. Next time I come back will be with the last sheet from that one which is the Forever Yours topper one and that would be that craft pad complete so when you do this one that has to go down like that and that one like that obviously so yeah that's the two cars different style so hopefully that will sit straight or sort itself out eventually I might have to burnish it down a little bit more but that is it for this video so um, as always, thank you for your support and your messages and enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.